a night rehearsal for Russia's annual May 9 Victory Day parade in Red Square and this year's debut of President Vladimir Putin's Youth Army. From just a hundred members a year ago, the so-called Unarmia Patriotic Movement has grown to more than 30,000, aged between 11 and 18. The truth is that Unarmia is a sort of preventive work, preventive work against involvement of young people of Russia into the protest movement. Unauthorized nationwide anti-corruption protests on March 26 surprised many with their scale, defiance and the large turnout of Russian youth. Despite minimal coverage in the dominant state media, tens of thousands took part and hundreds were detained, including 20-year-old David Victor Ratkin. It was rather easy to get the information if you're a user of social networks. The older generation are not internet users and get most of their information from television that doesn't give protests any coverage. Pro-Kremlin groups have been reaching out online to Russian youth with anti-Western propaganda. Putin's youth army raises concerns about a militarized generation of nationalists. One should certainly be on the alert about that. There are nationalist organizations of young people not under the auspices of the Kremlin. But it seems to me that the Kremlin so far is losing in this field of the direct struggle between the pro-Kremlin youth and the anti-Kremlin one. Students posted videos showing teachers being challenged after warning them not to join opposition protests or complain about corruption. But while some of Russia's urban youth are stirring, they remain a minority. My forecast is not optimistic because the majority of the population are couch potatoes, not doing anything and supporting the course of the present authorities. The Kremlin's message with these annual shows of military strength is clear. Russia is prepared to defend itself and its interests. But introducing its so-called youth army at this year's parade underscores a growing concern for the Kremlin, the need to cultivate support among a younger generation of Russians. Daniel Sheriff, VOA News, Moscow.